ladies, congratulations. Uh, BAFTAs are now in your, in your possession. We quite any, like that. Any inkling that you were going to win, or this is this completely out of the blue? Well, I, we had a one in four chance, but um, <laughs> no, I think we were surprised. Mm -hmm. I think it was, a, it was a strong field. I know probably everybody says that to you, but it was, especially when we were sitting in the audience and you see each individual clip and you think, well, they're all really strong, good shows and each one of them could very easily win this. So the moment when it comes, it's never happened to me before. It was a very <laughs> lovely shock. It's a very lovely shot. I love to see these four BAFTAs in, in front of you. I mean, look, talking about war and, and reporting war and kind of dramatising war is, is always a challenging thing, especially, like, retrospectively. How difficult was it for you, or, or easy was it for you, to kind of approach... Rasheen. Rasheen, that's yours. <laughs> that's Rasheen's. Um, I think the hardest thing with the First World War is now, because it's 100 years ago, there's no one left alive to speak. Um, and that's where we were so lucky because we had projection mapping and we also had the BBC's wonderful archive, which we could project in the centre of the city in which these events happened. And I think for us, that was one of the most magical Invaluable. moments mm -hmm. of, of this event. I think when you hear yeah. it from the people who were there, there is absolutely nothing that comes close to hearing in the first person voice and because with so many of these people who were there at Passchendaele throughout the 70s, 80s and 90s they were spoken to and the archive was there, it was a complete gift for us and it was remarkable to be there, to be in the Menin Gate, to be in the fields of Flanders where it had happened is, it, it, it's like touching history. It was like touching history. It was a remarkable thing. Well, I mean, I was going to ask you, but I'm pretty sure I know the answer about how important it is for you to preserve these stories, like, you know, for, for British culture. Did you feel a massive, massive responsibility taking on this project? Um, I would say it's massive responsibility, but it's hugely important that even 100 years on, we realise the sacrifice that so many people made. I mean, it's easy to say, but for our freedom today. I mean, if it hadn't been for those men and women, you know, a centenary ago, we wouldn't be sitting here. You know, they really did turn history. Do you know what I also think? I was speaking to, I got to interview a lot of very knowledgeable people about the First World War, you know, people who taught me a lot, just speaking to them as you're speaking to us. Yeah. And I was speaking to one of our contributors and we were talking about the figures, you know, and hundreds of thousands of people, you know, were led to their deaths and these and all these terrible things that we hear all the time. And he said to me, the thing to remember is that before these people died, they lived. They were people like us. They had all the dreams and aspirations and, and lovers and husbands and hopes and ambitions like all of us. And I think that one of the things that hopefully we managed to capture was that these were people. They weren't just figures, these bamboozling hundreds of thousands of people, which in, in, its, in itself is appalling, but actually they were living people and they they had all the hopes that we have as people and I think it's, that's a very important thing to remember when you're talking about something that happened so long ago. I think even for those that came home, their lives were changed forever. They, yeah. they were scarred. You know, you, we always remember the sacrifice and the loss, but actually so much was lost by those who actually had to come home and go to a life of normality. And I think even, you know, for your Harry Patches, who are 111, they never got over what they experienced yeah. on that battlefield. Yeah. A nice one to be able to, I guess, to share that story in, a, in an age where we do talk now about PTSD, because that, yeah. I mean, that wasn't happening yeah, exactly. back then. So, well, they all yeah, had it. Yeah, like, absolutely. It, for so, sure, yeah, 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 for sure. Yeah. But I think one of the other things that was incredible was that uh, we were able to see that w in the horror and the misery and everything that happened there, that the goodness came out of people and that there was a real strength and I think when we look around the world today we've got to remind ourselves that yeah. there are terrible horrible things happening but there's a great goodness in people and I think that's another thing that came out of that program so it's a it's an amazing thing to have done absolutely brilliant absolutely well and on, and on that note uh, ladies I'll let you uh, celebrate yourselves <laughs> well, and the amazing well. achievements but I know that um, all of these awards are very important to you not just for the work you've done but for the spirit of the people that obviously lost their lives in the first award so thank you so very much thank you very thank much you. And it was lovely to meet you congratulations thank you, thank you very much thank you. great dress by the <laughs> way thank you very very much. Much. Yeah. we love a frog